Hey, what's up guys? Beef here from Tactical Baby Gear and today we're going to take a look at what I pack in my my EDC hospital bag, if you will. So for context, my daughter <laughs> is sneezing a lot. She's uh, My daughter's got cancer and because of that we could be admitted to the hospital at any point in time for any number of days that we just don't know. So like for example, if she has a fever of 100.4 or higher, we have to take her to the emergency room uh, and we live two hours from the hospital. So um, then we'd have to come up here to our, our local hospital where she, her doctors are and that sort of thing. So uh, this is a bag that I keep in the truck with me at all times and we uh, tend to stay here at the hospital for a week or two a month. And now that we've been in and out of the hospitals for several months now, I've really refined what I carry in my bag. And obviously the way I have my bag set up isn't just for my situation, which is why I want to share it with you guys, because I think it's super useful for any type of unexpected scenarios. Okay, so the main bag that I use is this tote bag, and we'll just get right into it. Let's talk about the bag itself before I get into what's inside the bag. This is our Tactical Baby Gear tote bag. Uh, it's got some various pockets around the outside, which I'll show you how I use them here in just a minute. Uh, the handles have this nice neoprene thing, so it's really nice and comfortable to hold, especially if you have to put it up over your shoulder and carry other stuff, because oftentimes, you know, I'm carrying stuff for her as well, or wheeling another roller suitcase if we know we're gonna be here for a while and can plan for it. But that is what the bag is. On top, there's a really nice buckle here that can also double as a bottle opener, FYI, but that helps keep everything nice and contained and from spilling out of the bag. And the first thing that I have here is this bright orange jacket. We are still in some winter months. It's February, so it's still cool, especially at night. And this jacket is one, it keeps me warm, but two, it's super high vis, which in a lot of cases I like because if I'm in and out of the entrance a lot or meeting DoorDash or trying to uh, let somebody know who I am or where I am, it's really easy for me to say, look for the orange jacket or whatever. And it's super easy to identify. Also, security has gotten to know this jacket. So it makes my life a lot easier. They know who I am. They're not asking me to see a badge and are you supposed to be here? Who are you? Like, they just know the guy with the orange jacket and tattoos and you know, they like, they know me. So this jacket has made my life much easier around the hospital. All right, next thing I have in here, I'm gonna do this in sort of an order and I'll explain why. This is a roll of press and seal because uh, if she has to come here, they have to access her port. And a port is like, it's a permanently installed piece of hardware that goes directly into a vein. Uh, and it's like an IV. So they, they put a needle into that thing and then that's how she gets all her medications. That's how they draw blood. That's how she gets chemo, all that kind of stuff. But they give us a numbing cream, which I have in one of the pockets in here. So on the drive here, we put that on and then we cover it with this press and seal. That way it's numb by the time we get here and they can access the port without giving her any other pain. And then just below that, I've got this toiletry bag. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I'm not gonna open, open this up and show it to you guys specifically, but you've got you know deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo. I've got a little beard trimmer, all that kind of stuff in here. But I will say this is kind of a nice little pouch. It opens up and I put a carabiner on it. So I hang it from the mirror here in the hospital and it's just easy for me to access because there's no other counter space. So toiletry bag on top there. This is where, this is where things get really interesting and funny, quite honestly. Because I don't know when I'm gonna be here and I don't always have a blanket in the truck or anything like that, and the hospital's always really cold, and if I have to stay the night, I wanna be comfortable. So one of the doctors here actually told me about this, and we were joking out in the hallway, and I said, she just had a baby, and we were talking about this and that, and we were talking about sleep sacks, and I was like, God, wouldn't it be awesome to have an adult sleep sack? She's like, oh no, they make it. I was like, get out of town. So uh, she told me who made it and I bought one. This is an adult sleep sack, which is fantastic. My kids said I look like a penguin when I wear it because it's got like really short little feet at the bottom so you can walk around in it. But it really does work. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It keeps me nice and warm um, and I can use it on the fly without having to carry additional blankets and that sort of thing with me. So um, I do really like to have this. This is from Kite Baby. 
I love it. It's a little pricey, but for our situation, super worth it. All right, next up, this is from Anchor. I'll leave a link in the description with all the random stuff here. That way, if you try to find it, um, you'll be able to access it. But this is basically my entire charging station and one with, I think, a six foot extension cord. So uh, you never know how far you might be from an outlet from the things you need to charge. It's got two USB plugs on the front, two USB-C plugs on the front, and this will charge my laptop or any of that other sort of high power stuff as well. And then on the back side of it, I've got three regular outlets as well. So I can plug in my camera chargers, I can plug in other stuff, and it gives you, again, that six foot extension. Uh, this was sort of the best combination of different plugs by and remaining compact that I could find. I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was about 40 bucks-ish. Uh, it's from Anchor, so it's a, a known brand. It was on Amazon. Again, I'll leave the links in the description below, but this is a must-have for sure. Uh, in the same vein of electronics, I've got one of our small packing cubes here and inside of this is just all the various charging cables and stuff that I need for a laptop for phones for headphones for maybe her iPad I've got a bunch of redundant cables but this one in particular I think is my favorite I got this at Home Depot I've got a bunch of these now that I keep in the Land Cruisers when we go camping and in the different cars uh, but this is a cable from DeWalt and I like it so much because it has these different ends on it that you can switch out. So the main end on it is a mini USB or micro, whatever that is. And then it's got a USB-C end that you can clip on. So if your device requires that, you obviously can switch that out or you can switch it out for this Apple lightning port um, to charge your phone or an iPad or your headphones or whatever. But I love the versatility of this because you can charge practically most any device that you would have um, on hand and need to charge with just one cable and you don't have to carry a bunch. So I carry this as sort of a backup just in case I needed something I didn't have or needed an extra or whatever. So that's that one. Otherwise, other various charging cables in there, actually an external hard drive as well for my computer and work stuff and for camera stuff and that sort of thing. So. Uh, beyond that, I've got a few more packing cubes, another small one, a medium, and a large. This is all my clothes for about four or five days. Socks, underwear, t-shirts, shorts, joggers. I keep a pair of joggers in here to be nice and comfortable, but otherwise, um, yeah, handful of shirts, shorts, joggers. So again, that's the large packing cube, a medium packing cube, and two small packing cubes. And they pack really nice down here in the bottom of the tote bag. Now around some of the inside pockets of the tote bag, I've got some other really neat things. I like neat gadget things that solve, either solve a problem really well or solve multiple problems. That way you can consolidate the number of things you're bringing. Uh, these are really cool, again, because when I come in here and I need to hang up that jacket or the uh, sleep sack, I've got these folding hangers. Look how cool these are. Just like that, I've got a little hanger. It's got some little spring things here. So if you needed to hook something in there, you can do that. It can hook other stuff, you know, for women, you could hook a bra to it easily, whatever the case is. But um, yeah, they just unfold like this. They fold right back up. They don't take up a lot of space. It's, you know, just bigger than my hand, roughly. I'd say it's about six and a half inches or so. I'd carry two of them. Uh, in here just for those few items make things a little bit easier for me other things I have in here are sort of tool related because I'm always having to fix something in any one of these rooms I also have some medical shears in here uh, that I keep because of like cutting that press and seal if I have to trim that or whatever I have a pair of these in here it just makes things a little bit easier and then I've got a couple of multi-tools. Again, I'm fixing stuff in here all the time. This is not a Leatherman or a Gerber or any high dollar brand name thing. I did that sort of specifically. I was looking for a multi-tool that had that checked a couple of boxes and not many of them seemed to do that. 
And this is what I found, and it happened to be really inexpensive. And I said, well, it's just for the hospital. It's not like a life-saving thing. It's for tightening the bolt on the bottom of the chair when the seat's coming off. It's for leveling the feet on the bottom of the refrigerator because it's wobbling. It's, you know, fixing a screw in the blinds. Like these are all things that I've had to do, tightening a shower head. It's really dumb stuff that kind of drive me nuts but then also give me something to do and I don't go crazy here in the hospital. But this particular one is from Next Tool. Again, found this on Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but I wanted it to have a pair of pliers. So it has a pair of pliers. These are also sprung by the way, which is really nice. Um, they've got replaceable cutters in here, which I don't anticipate really having to cut a lot of stuff in here, but it's mostly getting a grip on something, tightening something, whatever. Um, of course, it has your knife blade in it, which is a nice, relatively sharp blade. I'm sure it's not like super high quality or anything, but again, it's good enough for the hospital room. The other thing I really, and it's got you know, your typical can opener, which actually I used the can opener the other day. Uh, so that was really nice to have. The scissors was the other one that I really wanted. Pliers and scissors, again, cutting, cutting stuff, uh, bandages, tape, things like that that I'm having to cut all the time. So first I bought the shears because I knew I needed some scissors, but then I was like, can I just put all of this in one tool? So I was able to find this one. Those are the two boxes I really wanted it to check. And then obviously it's got like your screwdriver heads, things like that as well. Then I said, okay, shoot. These seats that I had to fix have Allen head bolts in it. This doesn't have Allen head. I'm not trying to carry a bunch of Allen keys with me. And I found this little, I think it was called a star snowflake multi-tool or something. And if you look at it and pay attention to it, I think this thing has 10 tools in it or something, but it's got Allen heads around the outside here. And then on the inside of each one of those is an individual hex um, head. I think this was all metric too. So you've got probably a three, four, five, six, seven, eight millimeter Allens. And then I think uh, probably a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 and 13 millimeter wrench heads. Uh, and then you've got Phillips flathead and a bottle opener. And then it's got this other really interesting wedge thing and I'm not really sure what it does, but I've used this several times. I had to, again, tighten up the seat and whatever. And I just keep it on this little key ring. I keep these together in a pocket in the bag. And if I have to fix something, I'm not stressing over it. So that's that. Now on the outside of the bag, I got a couple of things. This is really cool. I stole this from my wife. Don't tell her she's standing right here. This is a laundry bag. Where'd you get this? Amazon. This is really cool because they, they've got washer and dryer here, which is nice. So again, those four or five days where the clothes can last me indefinitely. So, I, cause I can keep doing laundry, but this folds up into itself and it unfolds into this big laundry bag. So I can put dirty clothes in here, take them, wash them, do whatever. I've also used the tote bag for that same purpose as well. I just, I'll just pile the dirty clothes into this, take it to the washer and dryer. And when I'm done, I put it back in here and bring it back to the room. So either way you go, I just thought this laundry bag was really neat and kept me from having to uh, completely unload this if I didn't have to. So I'll look for the link to this and throw it in there if I can find it. Uh, on this side, I've got my over the ear headphones, which I use a lot because when I'm in the hospital, I'm working, uh, I'm editing videos, I'm taking Zoom calls, I'm, you know, whatever. I don't love having the headphones in my ears all the time. They kind of get a little uncomfortable for me. So I like these over the ear headphones and they fit perfectly in the side pocket of the tote bag here. I've got a couple of masks in a pocket in the back for obvious reasons with Kendall. Uh, her immune system is completely destroyed after chemo and has no immune system. So we have to be very cautious and very careful for, you know, about a week and a half, two weeks after each treatment. Um, and if I have to go to a hospital where they require it, I don't want to have to bother with anybody. I'll just put one on and uh, be able to mind my own business. And then in this other front pocket, I've just got a pen and a pencil for obvious stuff, just writing things down, making notes from doctors, etc. cetera. Now, oh gosh. <laughs> The other bag I have with me all the time is this mod diaper bag backpack that we sell. Um, this is the one with the magnetic flap at the top for your baby wipes and that sort of thing. This bag is with me all day, every day. Uh, usually like on a day-to-day -day basis, it's got diapers and stuff like that in there for the baby. But knowing that we were coming here for the week, I don't have any of that in here. But what I do have is all my work-related stuff that's 
always with me. Pretty straightforward. Inside, I've got this insert of a camera cube. And this is where I keep all the camera gear. I'm obviously filming with the camera now, but I keep an extra lens, a microphone, some other camera related stuff inside of here. And this is just an insert from Amazon that stays in this almost always. And then I have a packing cube that I throw up here that's usually got diapers and that sort of thing for the baby. And then in this other back pocket where the changing mat goes is where I keep my laptop. So this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I can get all my work done. I can continue to you know, help run the business um, and that sort of thing. And that stays in here. And then in this front pouch is the normal charging stuff that I carry around on a regular basis for the laptop itself and a few other random things, but pretty straightforward. I'm usually at the office and have everything I need there. But in the event that I'm like here, I still have the bare necessities to operate as well. And that pretty much does it for the things that I carry in my bag. Kendall does have a bag of her own, which is usually packed out with just some clothes uh, and a few other necessities for her. But generally speaking, the hospital is gonna bring her everything she needs. If you guys have experience with this sort of thing or have some really cool gadgets and things that make your life easier in a scenario like this or things I'm not thinking about or want to add to the conversation, drop a comment below. I'd love to check that out and your comments would probably help everyone else out as well. So anyways, again, links for everything will be in the description below. If you have any questions, you can shoot us an email to support at tacticalbabygear.com. See you guys in the next video. Peace.